Here we are in step number four of the Lace Closure Sewing Tutorial. In this step, I will be walking you step by step through how to sew in your lace closure. The lace closure I will be using is Mrs. Rudder's Virgin Hair Lace Closure in 14 inches. For your hair extension needs and your closure needs, go ahead and purchase your hair from MrsRudders.com. So in this step, I'm going to teach you how to stitch in your closure with no glue required. So before you actually begin sewing in your lace closure, make sure you have all of your materials ready and prepared. So you want to prepare a couple of needles with weaving thread and you want to make sure they're short so that way you're not causing any tangles as you're up and you're stitching your closure. You don't want long thread because it's easy for it to get tangled during this process. Then what you want to do is go ahead and tie your closure with a rubber band multiple times so that the rubber band does not slide out. So that way as you're sewing down your closure, loose hairs aren't constantly getting in the way as you're creating your knots. Then right before you begin, what you want to do is trim off the excess lace right above your hair. You want to make sure you get close enough, but not too close to where you're actually cutting hair off. After you do that, you will then start stitching the closure to your weaving net. After you finish cutting off your lace, you're going to go back over and clean up any pieces that have been left behind. After you trim off your excess netting right in the front of the closure, you can then begin sewing it down. First, you want to sew all the way around the perimeter of the closure. And then you want to actually sew in between the hair at the front of the closure so you can have that undetectable look without the use of any adhesive or glue to hold down the front. First, we're going to sew around the perimeter and then we're going to sew a few stitches in between the hair in the beginning. Use this clip to help keep straight hairs out the way and then begin stitching all the way around on the side. So holding both sides, stretch it really well, but not too hard. You're going to slide it down and you're going to stop right when you can't see your braid any longer. So we're going to stop right there. And then you want to use your hand to make sure you're holding the closure down very still. You're going to bring the edge of the closure right against your scalp, as you can see here. You're going to put a stitch right at your roots to stitch the very end here. And then you're going to continue stitching all the way around this actual closure. So take your needle, put it through the beginning here of your lace closure. Be very gentle so you don't rip your lace. Pull it through and then allow it to lay down and use your finger to help. Then go through the roots of your hair, back through the tip, and then create your knot. back through, wrap your string around twice, and then pull the needle through to create your knot. Every time you pull your needle through your lace, you want to be extremely careful so as you don't rip it. So then once you pull through, you're going to do it once more, and then you're going to continue going up until you reach about an inch on your lace because you want to make sure to go back and forth with your stitching so the tension on the overall closure will be equal and even. So now we're going to begin stitching up, making sure you're holding it down very flatly and then you're going to go to the other side until you go about an inch and you're going to continue to alternate as you're sewing both sides at a time until you finish all the way around the edge. Once 
Once you run out of string, make sure that you end with your last knot and then take your next needle and thread and continue stitching. So after I make my way about a fourth up on this side of my closure, I'll then go on the other side and start stitching as well. So, I've just finished sewing all the way around the perimeter of my closure except for the front area. As you can see, it's lifted, but I'm going to show you a very easy and cool technique to make sure that the front is laying down as flat as possible. So, just to show you, this is how it looks so far. It's been sewn all the way around, and you want to make sure to continue to go back and forth all the way around your closure. You sew a little bit here, and then you stop. You sew a little bit on the other side and then you stop and you keep working your way all the way to the back so that way all the tension is even and the closure is not shifting around as you're stitching. Now at this point, you want to make sure that this is laying down in the front very flat so that you can have a seamless looking closure. What you want to do is take your clip and you want to separate barely a fourth inch of hair from the front and push it down so that way you can actually stitch knots right in, in between your hair on your closure. So I'm gonna take some hair all the way off the edges, a very small amount. After you separate the hair, you're gonna clip all the rest of the hair out the way so that way no hair is getting in the way as you make your stitches. So now at this point, I have just a little bit of hair that I've separated from the closure, as you can see here. Now at this point, what you want to do is locate exactly where your part is, which is right here. Now, as you're creating your knots, you want to go about a fourth inch away from the part and begin creating your knots here along this side and then back along this side. You can start on the left or right side, it doesn't matter. You just want to make sure that you're just a little bit away from your part and begin stitching through your lace and through the roots of your hair that's right in front of this braid here. So that way your stitching is undetectable once you divide your closure and comb your hair over. So now what you're gonna do is use some clips to keep the hair down and I'm gonna start on the right side and begin stitching. So now you want to take your needle and thread and you want to make sure the hair is laying down very flat and begin stitching right here and make tiny stitches all the way over until you reach the very edge. So pull your hair down just a little bit, go through the lace, scoop up some of your hair underneath. You'll be scooping up the root of your braid. Pull it through. You're gonna do your knot technique. Go through the thread once, twice, and then pull through to create your knot. When you're tightening, be very careful not to rip the lace because lace is very thin and it's very easy to get holes in it if you're not gentle. Now, to prevent excess string or weaving thread from being up top, you want to go back in, but bring your needle mostly underneath the lace to then pull it back out to create the knot. So we're not going to go over and create the knot like this and tie it because then you're going to see a line of string. You want to go right in where you created the knot, right next to it. Bring the actual needle 
through the roots of your hair just a little bit and then come back out. So that way there's just few knots on your area instead of knots and string along the top of your lace. After creating your first knot about a fourth inch away from the part of your real hair where your leave out will be and where you will part the lace closure. So about a fourth inch away from that space. You're gonna take your needle. You're gonna go in right next to the knot bring the needle underneath the lace and pull it back out where you want your next knot to be. The reason why is because as you're creating your stitches, you want most of the thread to be underneath the lace so that when you're combing your hair and styling, you're not undoing all the string that would be up top. Most of the string will be underneath the lace. So you're gonna grab your needle, insert it next to the knot. You're gonna pull it a distance underneath and come out about right here. And then you're gonna loop it back through to create your second knot. So go in right next to the right next to the knot. You're gonna make sure you're going underneath some hairs at the root. And then you're gonna come back out. Now once you come back out, you're gonna pull the string through. So that way the string is actually underneath your lace. Now at the point where you came out, that's where you're gonna create your next knot. So go through the lace, scoop some hair up, that's at your root, come back out the lace, and then do your knot technique, and this is your second knot. Once, twice, and pull through. Now open the string up so that you can tighten the knot even further, but be very careful not to rip your lace. So now as you can see, the second knot is a little distance away from the first one, but we don't have any type of weaving thread on top of the lace. You don't want weaving thread on your lace, you just want to make sure that there's knots appearing along the way. So after you complete this side and finish forming your knots until you reach the edge, you will then repeat the same technique on the other side. You create your first knot, you go underneath your lace, come out of the lace. Then once you come out of the lace, go back in just a little bit to scoop up hair to create the second knot. So we go from one knot to another to another without extra string being in between each knot. As you can see, I've created my knots on both sides of my closure, on the right side and also on the left side. Right here is where my part will be because as you can see, these are my two leave out braids. So once I take these down and finish sewing in the rest of the hair, you will be able to see how it completely looks once finished. But just to show you, when I lift this hair up, the lace is undetectable. So after I take out my leave out braids, blend it with the closure, and then finish stitching it in, you will be able to see the completed result of my technique of sewing down your lace closure. After sewing down the front of the closure and then sewing down the rest of the extensions around the closure, this install is complete. As you can see, the closure has turned out flawlessly beautiful as always. If you make sure to do my technique, you will achieve these results. I get asked all the time if it's all my real hair, and that's because it's the closure. It's beautiful, it has a nice density, and it blends well with any type of skin tone and hair that you have. So at this point, when you're all finished installing, you're ready to go. But if you want that extra special touch to make sure you tie everything all in together and make it perfect for you, I'm gonna show you a really quick concealer trick to make your lace look exactly like your skin tone. To do this concealer trick, you're only gonna need two things. You're going to need a flat eyebrow brush and you're going to need concealer. I prefer that you use concealer that's solid and not liquid because if you use a liquid concealer, the liquid can drip through the lace, get on your scalp, and it'll cause clogged pores and things like that. So you want to use a concealer palette or a concealer that matches your skin tone to dab onto your lace. So to start, 
Take your brush, dab just a little bit of concealer and then dab the closure at the beginning and then work your way back to achieve the look you want. You want to only use a little bit at a time and it's perfectly fine if you have to go through the area like five or six or seven times. The point of doing this is to make sure that it's blending seamlessly with your skin tone and that you don't pick up too much concealer at once because then it will look fake. You want to only use a little bit of time and then you want to bring it back just a little bit to achieve the look you desire. As you can see so far, this is how it looks. Continue to pick up a little bit of concealer and work your way back as far as you want, but don't pick up too much at a time. In this step, I taught you how to install your lace closure. So remember, when installing your closure, you have to make sure that you leave some space around the closure to finish sewing in your extensions to complete the look. Also, it's a must that you incorporate my technique, especially when you're sewing down the front of the closure so that way your closure can lay as flat to your scalp as a closure can possibly lay. Also, if you want, you can use concealer to dab onto your lace, but as you notice, it's absolutely unnecessary. You don't have to tweeze Mrs. Rutter's closure. You don't have to use tape or glue to hold it down, nor do you have to use concealer. Concealer is optional. I've taught you how to sew down your closure and install to complete your look. So now, in the very next step, step number five, I will be teaching you how to style your lace closure sew-in.